just be out with us to Atlantis Resort and Adventure Park on Paradise Island in the Bahamas. This is a five-part series on the entire Atlantis Resort and also how to experience the Atlantis water park without paying the Atlantis price. In our previous video, we covered the inside part of Atlantis. And if you haven't seen that video, we highly recommend you check it out. We will leave a link in the description and also at the end of this video. And in this video, we are going to cover the first part of the Atlantis grounds. The grounds are massive so we split it up into two videos if you are new to our channel I'm Irina and I'm Devon and we are just, just be out. out we create informative travel videos to help you get, get the, the most, most out of your, your vacation. vacation so let's get started with this beautiful tour of Atlantis outdoor grounds just, just be, be out, out with us, us. This massive hotel you're looking at behind us is called the Royal Towers. Now these towers is split into two. There is a west side and there is an east side. And if you notice in the middle, it is the bridge suite. Now this bridge suite has a little story behind it and everyone kind of know it and some actually don't. So the bridge suite was supposedly the first person who stayed in this suite was Michael Jackson. And a lot of people you might ask when you're here, what is the name of that? They would say it's the Michael Jackson suite, even some staff here. But I got a little inside information and they told me Michael Jackson was actually not the first person to stay at that suite, but it was actually Grace Jones. Now, it would be nice if we could all afford that suite, right? This suite ranges from $10,000 to $25,000 per night, minimum of four nights. Now, what do you get for that price? Well, the only thing you really get is butler service and of course the security now when I say security the security detail is very thorough here so for example my name is Devon Talbert if I stood in that suite my name would not be Devon Talbert I would have an alias name they use that to protect the people who are staying there it also has a private elevator uh, it's absolutely beautiful up there I've never seen it I just seen a couple photos but it's just amazing I would love to stay in that room, but right now, I just can't afford it. But if you guys subscribe to our channel, maybe one day we will. Anyway, to get on with this tour, as you can see, I am by the fountains of flying fishes here. This place is massive and we're going to create few videos structured to this place because it's so big we can't fit all the information in one video. So we're going to break it up into portions and we're going to take you around the entire property. And there's just so much to see here. And keep in mind guys, the reason we're creating this is that we're showing how you can stay here and stay here at an affordable price. Irina is going to take you around and show you what this beautiful facility has to offer. The Atlantis Resort features five towers and every tower has entrance to the park. But this is the Royal Tower and this part of the grounds is called the Royal. Uh, we are going to walk through just half of this Royal part and then head over to the Coral and the Beach part. And as we walk, this is the main entrance and this is the royal bath pools. Uh, on my right hand side, there is a um, Choco Tini place. They sell uh, different types of sweets, ice creams and chocolate. There's so many loungers and a lot of palm trees. I really love the landscaping Atlantis did here so you have plenty of opportunity to be in the shade or on the Sun as we're walking around gr the grounds there is music playing and it's a lot of fun and really relaxing there is it's right next to the ocean we're actually heading towards the beach right now so we will show you the beach there is a security booth over there as well so 
we've been to NASA Bahamas already four times and three times we visited the Atlantis Park two times from the cruise so we only had a day pass and this time we actually decided to fly in and stay here for three nights in the area they do corporate events and weddings and you get a beautiful view of the royal towers and the bridge and on the other side you get the lagoon view over here they have some games set up so let's quickly go over here and I will show you where we will be going in this video so this is the Atlantis Lagoon we are going to cross over this bridge right over this bridge there is a beach we will do a full beach walk in a separate video and this is the lagoon where you can go swim um, there are aqua bicycles kayaks uh, a lot of people do snorkeling here uh, and over there there is a casino you see the coral tower this one with the flag and the beach tower a little bit further away and again we will be walking in that area and you see uh, there is also the beach right next to the lagoon and a lot of beautiful waterfalls but again we will be passing by closer there so let's go over the bridge right now So here is a, a little medical clinic and nurse station. This bridge goes over the lagoon and the, this lagoon is connected to the sea. I'm for your convenience there are bars and little snack shops everywhere you go so even you're here on the lagoon side and on this little beach area there is a bar right next to it Right next to each uh, bar, there is a refill, water refill station and a drink station. The coral And here is the entrance to the beach. Right now, it is really windy. Uh, we are in April. So uh, right now, there is a, a little storm coming. So there are really large waves normally uh, the water is pretty calm here as you can see there are a lot of lounging chairs and they actually updated their lounging chairs and uh, added shade covers on top of them and for your convenience there is also fresh towels that you can get from here so now we are heading to the coral part. 
of the Atlantis Resort. There is so much greenery, so many trees, palm trees. It is gorgeous. There are guards everywhere and um, lifeguards as well on every beach and every pool. From here you can see the full Royal Tower, both the east and the west. You can see the bridge and I really love that on top they have fantastic decorations. Giant swordfishes, giant shells. It is so beautiful. And you can see waterfalls from here as well. Yeah, me too. It's warm here, right? That's why we're going to get you guys those coconut water. They just didn't have any more. As you can see, there are people kayaking and aqua bicycling. And this would be an additional charge. Right now, we are going to a really cool spot. I really like that the Atlantis, it's not only water park and just adventure park, it's also kind of an aquarium. So you see uh, marine animals everywhere. And this is another place where you can get drinks. And some food as well. Here they serve tacos, burgers, hot dogs, flatbread pizza, pasta. And to just give you a little price in here, penne pasta is $16, chicken alfredo pasta $17, pretty affordable. Uh, grilled plates, they have mahi mahi for $26. Um, shrimp uh, for $22, chicken breast $22, and some some appetizers, a garlic hummus for $14, and Caesar salad for $13. So I think food prices for the outdoor dining here is pretty affordable, comparing to any other. Uh, adventure parks or water parks for example in Disney the prices for sandwiches are much higher and as we go around we'll stop at different uh, food places and uh, we'll show you what they have to offer and what kind of uh, and what the prices are so as I mentioned before this is um, an aquarium as well and this is incredible so in different parts of the Atlantis, you can go uh, to this gigantic water tanks and see different types of... Look, there's a, there's a sawfish, there's a nurse shark, there are black tip sharks, white tip sharks, hammerhead sharks, and we will take you to other places with um, turtles and stingrays. Black nose sharks, Caribbean reef sharks, nurse sharks, and Atlantic black tip sharks are in this tank. And there are also a variety of different fishes as well. So this is not only just one tank here, it actually there are di different paths here that you can go all around and check out this tank. aquariums, zoos, 
and animals. And we also have another channel where we do walking tours. And when we went to Atlanta, we went to the Atlanta um, Aquarium where you can see a whale shark. Wow, look at that. This is awesome. Ah, a nurse shark. And it's so cool to see the bottom of it as well. So we have a walking video, walking tour video of the uh, Atlanta Aquarium as well. So if you haven't seen our second channel with walking tour videos, we will leave the link in the description below. It is so awesome. In order to access this part of the Atlantis, you don't necessarily have to stay at the Atlantis Resort. They do offer day passes as well. Currently, a day pass for adults is $190, and for kids is $95. Wow, look at this ginormous fishes. So awesome. And this is natural sunlight that illuminates this fish tank. And the decor is awesome. This lamp is a shell. And you, it's, uh, this um, path is made, um, is a man-made cave. It is really cool. I have a baby shark there. And over here they have tanks with crayfish, which is a spiny lobster. And you can see quite a few of them crawling in the tank. And here are the just colorful reef fishes. And see this path leads you out to a, another part of the park. As you walk out, you see palm trees, sunlight. This is truly a paradise and I absolutely love the theme here and now we are at the coral part of the park as I mentioned before it is divided in several parts so this is the coral and let's quickly go over this way I wanted to show you something really cool. Atlantis Resort offers so many different encounter programs for kids and adults. And one of the encounter programs is Stingray Encounter. So before we show you the part where they actually do the Stingray Encounter, this is a part where you can come and see really closely baby stingrays. Look how adorable they are. Just flying in the water, in the, in the pack. And here also we saw baby sharks. They're literally a foot long. I have never seen a shark that small. They're really cute. Here there's a starfish in the middle of the tank. Oh, look how close they come here. This is so awesome. And now let's go back out and we'll show you the encounter pool for stingrays. A stingray encounter is $125 per person. Right now this area is technically blocked off, so we're just going to pop over here and you can see where the step the staircase is and there are tons of stingrays flying in the water and they have different kinds of stingrays as well this is the coral pool again they have a swim up bar here plenty of lounging chairs um, 
volleyball net right in the water. It is so much fun. And they have cabanas here for rent as well. And right now we're walking over the bridge. So from here, you can watch all the stin race here. And if you see anybody is doing an encounter, you can actually watch it or maybe take pictures of your family doing an encounter from here. A part of the hotel is the Coral Hotel and rates are a little bit cheaper than the main Atlantis Royal Towers. There is music playing everywhere. Here is where you can get towels. There's bar service over here. And here is where you can see baby turtles. We will show you a pool where they have full-size turtles. And, and actually, um, we are heading to the beach where they do turtle hatching. And here are the, just a nursing pool for little turtles. beautiful display of waterfalls to take pictures there are restrooms over here And I absolutely love this part. It's, there are a lot of um, pools and waterfalls. And this is actually man-made rocks right here. They're hollow on the inside, but they are super cool. And in this part, we will go a little bit higher and show you. Uh, this is another part where you have full-size turtles and hammerhead sharks. It is so relaxing to walk around here and it's really cool to walk around and take plenty of pictures. Here you have caution, do not climb or sit on the rocks sign. And the reason why we spoke to uh, the employees here and they told us the story when Michael Jackson was staying here he actually wandered around this part of the area and decided to climb on the rock and fell into a pool that's why they actually had to place a sign not to climb on rocks If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to click like. Here is a beautiful lookout. And from here you have a perfect view of the Royal Towers. And in this pool you can see full-size turtles. Uh, the beach that you see on the right hand side is the Turtle Hatching Beach. And you see a giant hammerhead shark swimming in there. And here is a perfect place to take photos with the beautiful royal towers in the back.
Next we head into one of my favorite parts of the coral adventure. This is such a picturesque bridge. We have taken so many photos and videos here. I love it here. And you're literally crossing over the pool with turtles and sharks. And here is another lookout point where you see the sharks and turtles. It is a little far to see the turtles here, but don't you worry, we will take you to another pool where you can see turtles really closely. And to even walk these grounds without accessing the actual slides, you still need a day pass or to be a guest of the Atlantis Resort. Or we also have another way for you to access these grounds and the park without paying the Atlantis prices. We will share this hack with you in our part five series. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you do not miss when this video is coming. Um. And from here, you can see the turtle hatching beach. So whenever there is a season for baby turtles hatching, they hatch right on this beach. And as you notice, this part is pretty quiet and relaxing. It's not that many kids in here. So Atlantis really offers you something where it's uh, hustling and bustling and so much action and adventure in the Aqua Adventure Park. And be sure to stay with us. We will take you to that park in, in our next video. And this is a little bit more of a relaxing part. And now we are heading to the beach part of the Atlantis Park. To get there, we will go back towards the bridge area where you wish where we showed you access to the beach and and we'll take you on a beautiful walkway path to go to the beach and again yes it is called the beach but it's not the actual beach it's just the way it is called here you can get some snacks, pretzels. Again, I, I promised you to give you a little bit of prices. Here you can get chicken Caesar wrap for $10, turkey sandwich $10, hot dog $7, uh, concreters $12, coconut shrimp for $18, or a fried snapper for $20. On my left hand side, there is the actual beach, the real beach, and this path will lead us to the beach part of the Atlantis Park.
So on my left, you can actually see the beach and the waves. The water is so beautiful. Again, as I mentioned before, it is um, Nordic winds right now. So the water is really choppy. So it's pretty dangerous to get in. But normally the water is really calm here. The beach is really long here. Over here we can overlook. Again, from here you can see the turtles, the coral park, part of the Atlantis Park. another entrance to the beach and plenty of lounging chairs Over here you can see the map of the beach part. There is a, a Poseidon's Kids Pool, Lazy River, which is more for kids, uh, Dolphin Flamingo Villas, and Bar and Grill ahead as well. Here is a bar overlooking the sea but again right now it is really windy on a calmer day it is absolutely beautiful and this is a really nice beach walk beach side walk This is the end of the Atlantis property. Right behind me, there is a Rio Resort. And again, it is really close to the Atlantis. Here is the gate. You can literally walk out of the property of Rio and walk into the property of the Atlantis. But you still need to have your day pass. There is a guard here and he will be checking for day passes. Now we're gonna go through the beach part of the Atlantis uh, property and here there is a kids pool, um, lazy river which is more uh, appropriate for kids. Here you can see beautiful waterfalls right in the pool, perfect to take pictures or just relax.
the pool gently slopes, so it's perfect for little kids. And right behind the pool, there is uh, the beach tower. Atlantis has five different towers. So this is the beach tower. And on the other side of the pool, you, you will see um, little pink houses. These are flamingo cabanas. Again, this is more of a quieter side. There are bridges going right over the pools. It is absolutely beautiful. This is the lazy river that is for kids. And we will take you to the rapid river, rapids river that is more for kids and adults here you can see it's not as harsh it is more of a gentle and relaxing floating and this is the Poseidon's kids pool This part of the Atlantis is really quiet. So if you want to get away and just relax, read books, or maybe listen to a podcast, this is a perfect place for you. There is another pool here with some marine life display. And here you can see really closely nurse sharks. Wow, look how many of them are here. They're just swarming in here. This is incredible. Uh, Atlantis offers a lot of different experiences and encounters. Nurse sharks, stingrays, dolphins, and they um, also offer a dive with real sharks. The Atlantis has so many pools and ponds and waterfalls and bridges going over, over everything. It is so beautiful. Uh, in this area, they also have a hot tub, but it is closed for construction and they are renovating some parts of it. So we're not going to walk around the entire area of the beach. Now we're heading back through the coral um, area and we're going to take you to uh, the side of the royal towers to show you some stingrays and turtles and more waterfalls the entrance connecting the beach part and the coral park of the uh, Atlantis Adventure was closed so we had to circle back around and we are now at the Lagoon Park Bar and Grill and right now we are going to take you alongside the Royal Towers and show you some other awesome spots so this is again the coral part we were here earlier in this video NASA Bahamas is a really popular cruise ship port destination there are sometimes seven cruise ships at, at once <laughs> docking here so from here we are right over this bridge is the um, casino part of the royal tower and here we were here before with baby stingrays and there are two baby sharks somewhere hiding
and one of the most popular activity when you come off the cruise ship is the Atlantis Park, the Aqua Adventure. We will take you to Aqua Adventure in the next video. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss this video when we publish it. Here is a beautiful view of the lagoon. You can see the, be the beach, the bridge that we walked over earlier in this video. So if you are coming here to NASA Bahamas on a cruise, you can purchase a day pass to access the beach. Uh, two times we came here on a cruise, <clears throat> we actually had um, bought a pass to the Atlantis, so we were here only for the day. And the third time we were here on a cruise is actually on our last cruise, the MSC Seashore. If you haven't seen the videos from that cruise, <clears throat> we will leave the link in the description. Here's one of the entrances to the casino. And from here it's balconies overlooking the lagoon. All the sculptures on the sides of the buildings or as we're walking throughout the property is uh, sea themed and they are so beautiful. This park, the Aqua Adventure, actually opens at 10 a.m. and um, the pools are open at 9 a.m. The reason why the Aqua Adventure opens at 10 a.m. is because they have to test the water pumps and the water system to make sure it's running properly. Here you can see another beautiful view, plenty of waterfalls and the gorgeous lagoon. So if you are coming on the cruise ship, make sure um, check the times of the port because last time we were pretty disappointed to find out that our cruise uh, was docking at 7 a.m. and leaving at 2 p.m. So to get to here to the Atlantis from the cruise ship port, there are a couple of ways. You can get a taxi which is uh, about 20 US dollars each way and it takes about 15 minutes but keep in mind coming back it might be traffic actually a couple of times that we were here we got stuck in traffic coming back from Atlantis to our cruise ship port and we were late we we stuck in major traffic the cars were not moving stand still so we had to uh, and that was right next to the port we had to jump out of uh, our taxi and run and they were already calling our names so we were literally the last ones so this is another entrance or exit to the royal towers and over here you can see the guard sitting right outside so Normally, you would have to either have a wristband or your uh, room key. So here she's asking for our room key because we didn't have our wristbands printed. Thank you. So as you're sailing, make sure to check the times of what time the ship it will be in port so you have enough time to experience uh, the Atlantis aqua adventure and here you have different beautiful path to explore so uh, down the stairs there is a, a beautiful waterfall it's very popular to take pictures down there so we're just gonna head down and then we'll come back up here to continue our walk alongside the royal towers Skyler, move your hand. I'm 
another beautiful view of the lagoon and the waterfalls is right this way. Atlantis offers a package of photography package and there are photographers uh, in different places uh, in different areas and you get a wristband uh, once your pictures are taken you can then just go and choose your pictures so this is one of the places uh, where it's very popular to take pictures so if we look that way uh, uh, that area is um, uh, being reserved for private events or corporate events and just around the corner it's this is where we started it's where the chocolate place is so we're just gonna go right back up and continue walking alongside the royal towers and we are back up and this is one of the checkpoints where you can go and do an adventure of their main aquarium in the atrium that we showed you in the previous video the views over here are absolutely stunning there are a lot of different places and lookouts where you can take pictures so just enjoy the scenery and from here you can actually look down so the main aquarium down below this area is uh, where what you see in the atrium so it's uh, outdoors on top and it goes really deep down and you can see all the fishes so uh, underneath it's like um, a sunken city of Atlantis and this is where you actually go snorkel as well so you can discover the sunken city and um, a look at all the marine life that they have there and right behind this glass windows it's actually where the that main aquarium is and the check-in and registration area so from over here you can see fishes floating right here it is so beautiful the outside decorations of the royal towers are incredible here you can see some stingrays sitting on the bottom And there are also manta rays. And you can see the encounter right here. The discovery of the sunken city of Atlantis. I think this uh, encounter is just a little over a hundred dollars. To access this part of the Atlantis, you also need to have the pass or be a guest of the Atlantis Resort. We are now heading to the main entrance where we started our video, but stay with us. We want to show you a spot with turtles.
And from this bridge you can see stingrays, sharks. And from here you can see the fountain with fly fishes where we started. It is so cool how close you can actually see all the marine life. So if you don't want to get in the water and snorkel, you can still look at them and be really close. And here is a sawfish. Look how close you can actually see it. So you can see them in the aquarium and right outdoors. And in this pool, you can see rescue turtles. Uh, they normally swim right next to the edge. Right now, the water is rippling, so you don't see them as much. And they looks like there there is one sleeping right under the rock. It perfectly blends with the rock. Oh, there is another one sleeping, also under wedged under the rock. These are uh, green sea turtles and there is another one also sleeping under the rock so most of them looks like they are sleeping right now and over there are sleeping as well uh, some of these turtles miss uh, missing flippers and some just uh, just rescued uh, and they cannot survive in the wild so that's where they keep them here and take care of them and this is uh, where the walkway between towers, towers of, uh, right behind me there is the East Tower and ahead of me there is the West Tower, West Royal Tower. So here on the left there is an entrance to the Royal West Tower and this is the main um, suite, <laughs> the bridge suite right above me, connecting two towers. And this is the main entrance to Aqua Adventure and the beach as well. This walkway is absolutely stunning. Again, the decorations, there are so many details. Look at this fountain, it's made out of shell shape. Even here, they have a little the ornaments of shells and the vases for the flowers are also made out of um, shell shapes, clamp shapes. So from here, you can also see some sea life, marine life. There are plenty of stingrays whizzing by. And on the other side, uh, you can see the sharks where we just were. We were on top of that bridge. 
here, if you look over, you can also see different types of stingrays and sharks. And we were just on top of the bridge. We walked around this way and came right here. And now we're back at our meetup point where we started this video. This concludes part two of our five part Atlantis tour series. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to click like. Be sure to watch our first part of this, of this series, which is the Royal Towers walking tour. If you'd like to support our channel, please consider becoming a member. Or if not, no worries, just subscribe to our channel. We will greatly appreciate it. Now we're heading to the Aqua Adventure, which will be part three. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification so you don't miss this video.